You have done squats before, but what happens if you're training the godfather of all leg lifts and really trying to push to go heavy? The answer, you just may need a spot. The art of the spot is one of the most critical parts of training heavy. Sometimes you'll need a spot from somebody to help you push your limits, either driving for more reps or aiming to move a max rep amount of weight. Other times you may be spotting somebody else because eventually they'll return the favor to you. Either way, you need to understand how to spot critical heavyweight lower body lifts so that you can both push yourself and push a training partner so you can both truly maximize your workouts. Before we dive into exactly how to spot lower body lifts, let's understand that not all leg lifts are meant to be spotted. In general, you'll find that you're able to spot most knee dominant lifts and anything where the torso is upright. But if somebody is doing a main hinge lift, which is something like a deadlift or a kettlebell swing, or even a good morning, they're gonna be on their own. If they fail on that hinge lift, they'll typically be better off dropping the bar than having you spot them so that they can battle up through the lift. So the lifts you're gonna wind up spotting the most are gonna be heavy squats, heavy reverse lunges, and heavy split squats. So we've got Brett here to help us demo our lower body spotting setup. We're gonna show this with a squat, but essentially to some extent, you're going to be able to do this whether you're helping somebody with a reverse lunge or a split squat. So it's gonna be very similar. The only difference when we do those other motions is we may have to give the person a little bit more room to step back into their reverse lunge and we may have to give them a little more room in their setup. The key thing, there are two prevailing ways that we can really spot the, spot the squat. There is one way that works for a relatively light weight, and this is the way that you're going to generally think is the smartest, and that's to spot the bar. So let's show them that, Brett. So Brett is going through his squat setup. He and I had our discussion, which is key, and all I'm going to do is I'm gonna have my hands on the bar as he's going down. I've stepped away because he needs a little bit of room on his squat. Let's give him another rep, Brett. And if something happens, I can pretty much only help the bar. Now that is fine with a light weight if we're doing 135. Let's give them one more rep, rep. So I'm using, essentially I can go to a mixed grip on this to really help him out, or I can just put my hands under there with a double underhand grip. But either way, I'm in control. I'm in the stagger stance, let's give him one more rep. And when he struggles, I'm just gonna come take a little bit away from the bar. The problem with that is if Brett winds up around say 225, 315, 405, and he's a strong guy who can squat a lot, I can't really help him with that grip. I'm not gonna be able to do anything. So what we want to do instead and what we gradually wanna to learn to do for the heavyweight lifts that people wind up doing for their lower body is we want to understand how to spot them at their body. To do this, what I want to do is I want to think of two things, and there are two general ways that I can do this. The first, Brett's going to take, Brett's going to get his setup. He's going to step out of the rack. And what I want to do, one, I want to give him still plenty of clearance because the first move on any squat, he's got a little bit of hinge, so his butt's going backwards. So I can't necessarily get up against him. But what I want to do, the two ways I can do this are one, I can come right under his armpits, and then when he lowers down, let's give him a rep. I'm not touching him, not making any contact. Let's give him another one. But if he struggles, if he needs help, I can drive him upwards and help him through that. Now I'm doing two things when I'm driving him upwards with this. Let's give him another rep, rep. If his chest is caving in, I can help pick him up and help him realign his torso angle so he can kind of continue with the rep. It's gonna help prevent any lower back in injuries. The other thing I can obviously do from this position I can guide him upwards and give him the upwards energy that he needs to complete the rep. There's a very similar and another way that we can do this. Essentially, I can put one hand in front of him. Again, I'm taking a staggered stance. I'm staying away so that he can go into his hinge in his squat. But I'm gonna put one hand in front of him. That way I can help him if he's caving in at his chest. Now I can help pick him up and I've got the other hand behind him. So that's another way that you can do it. Either of these ways can work what you want to really do, let's give him another rep rep. What you want to really do is have that conversation with the person that you're spotting so you understand what's best for them and that's going to put you in the most successful position to execute this. When we are in this position where we have a bar that is on our back, you can use the same technique even if we're doing a split squat. The only difference is how I set up. So I want to make sure whatever leg he has back in this split squat or lunge, 
I'm going to set up my staggered position to the other side. That way he still has room to complete the motion. The one trick with spotting any leg exercise is we want to make sure that we don't create essentially almost like a claustrophobic situation for the person who's training. We want him to feel like we're not there when the, when the reps are going fine. So now he's in position and for this, I would almost generally always take that chest position, that uneven stance. So now if Brett loses it to the front, I'm squatting with him, stand up, I can help pick him up, and then he can get his reps. Those are the two ways that you can spot any of these lower body lifts, and they can help in a variety of situations too. Great with the barbell, but if we're in the front rack with kettlebells, you can do something similar. Again, we've got the, we, we're, we're helping with the chest and we're helping with the back, or we can slide under into the armpits. You can help with a heavy goblet squat. This gives you a lot of options as a fundamental way that you can start thinking about spotting your lower body lifts. That way you can help people continue to get stronger and make their gains and they're gonna help you too because they're gonna learn from you how to spot that much better. No matter what, stay fully engaged in the spot. Spotting requires work from both the spotter and the lifter to be truly successful. The payoff is for the lifter banging out the tough PR lift or a new reps high, but eventually they'll pay you back too and you'll both be stronger for it.